All right, so what is up everybody? My name is Garrett, welcome to Garrett's Stock Thoughts. And in today's video, I'm going to give you the five reasons of why this certain IPO is something that you guys should be very, very excited about. Let's get into it. All right, so the IPO that you guys should be super excited for that we're gonna talk about today is a company called CrowdStrike. Just to give you guys a quick little background on who they are. So CrowdStrike is a cybersecurity cloud-based company that deals with any anything from IT infrastructure to um, endpoint security. And they're super duper exciting because there's not a lot of companies that are doing what they're doing that are also in the cloud. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go straight into the five reasons of why this IPO is so exciting and why all of you guys should be paying attention to it. Okay, so moving straight into reason number one, and that is that a lot of CrowdStrike's competitors in the industry are super out Dated. And what I mean by that is a lot of their competitors don't have the ability to handle um, the contemporary cybersecurity attacks that are being developed in today's age of technology. Um, because, because CrowdStrike is based in the cloud, they have the ability to constantly be learning about from um, different kinds of attacks and they basically have the ability to adapt um, in a moment's notice where these other outdated solutions just don't have that capability. All right, guys, so moving straight into reason number two, and that is CrowdStrike's ability to utilize crowdsourced data and apply that to artificial intelligence. And I got to say, this is probably one of the coolest things that I've seen so far about CrowdStrike. And I just want to read you straight from their S document, S1 document, what they say about what they're doing with artificial intelligence and their crowdsourced data. So as more high fidelity data is fed into our Falcon platform, there's more data to train our AI models with, increasing the overall efficiency of our Falcon platform. And basically what that means is the more customers and the more data that they have to feed into their platform and train these AI models, the better and more efficient that their product is going to become over time. And that is pretty awesome. More customers, more efficient product, all around a good situation. And just quickly before we move on to point number three, a lot of their competitors are not using AI in this way. They really don't have the ability to because they're so outdated and clunky and these legacy competitors, you know, you have to download them so they don't have the ability to utilize all of this data in the cloud and gear towards AI and train these AI models like CrowdStrike can. I think that's gonna give them a real leg up when it comes to eating up market share and beating their competition. Okay, so reason number three, this is more of a security play, no pun intended, but CrowdStrike as a whole has very, very little exposure to what's going on in the trade war. What I mean by that is, you know, like other internet companies, they're not really majorly affected by tariffs. And, you know, this can be a very positive view from investors because number one, not a lot of companies are going to get rid of their cybersecurity. Um, it's very, very important, um, very important, especially in this day and age as cyber attacks become more and more frequent. Um, so very little exposure to the trade war compared to other investments um, around you know, in the Dow Jones or in the S&P 500. All right, everybody, so moving straight into reason number four, and that is really the overall size of their total addressable market. And I'm just gonna read you some facts straight from their S1 document. So they claim that there is a $29.2 billion total addressable market between IT systems and service management. And they're expecting that to hit that $29.2 billion number by 2021. And I'll tell you what, you know, that is a big market. And simply because uh, CrowdStrike's you know, products are that much better than their competitors. And, you know, the fact that they have the ability to learn over time, I think that they, they have a legitimate um, case to be made that they could eat up a lot of this market share and continue the insane growth that they've had over the last couple of years and into the future. All right, everybody. So last but not least is reason number five. And that is the insane growth that CrowdStrike has shown over the last couple of years and the fact that they explicitly stated that they are going to put all of their efforts to continue growing. And just to kind of show you guys a little illustration of this, let's dive into some charts from their S1 document showing their growth. All right, guys. So the first thing that I wanted to take a look at was their annual recurring revenue and the year over year growth that they've experienced from 2017 to 2018 to 2019. Um, I hope you guys can see this. I'll go ahead and try and zoom it in. Um, so from 2017 to 2018, they went from um, $58 million in revenue to $141 million in revenue. And that was a year over year growth of 140%. And then from 2018 to 2019, they went from $141 million in revenue to $312 million in, re in revenue. And that was an increase of 121%. That's pretty legit. And here's a chart just illustrating um, their annual recurring revenue um, in millions of dollars. And what you can tell from this chart is, you know, not only are they keeping revenue that they've gotten, but they are also 
having the ability to create new revenue every single year. And if you just look at this growth, growth guys, it's pretty insane. All right, guys, so the second chart I wanna show you real quick is the dollar-based retention rates. And basically what this chart measures are existing customer subscription over a 12 month, 12 month period of time. And what you can see from this chart is, you know, not only do people stay with CrowdStrike for a long time, but they continue to spend more and more money on CrowdStrike. And how they do this is, you know, when you start off with CrowdStrike, you buy one what they call module. And then over time you realize, wow, you know, this is a really, really, really good solution. Oh, but they have all these other modules. So, you know, let me keep purchasing and keep buying new modules because, you know, it's going to help my business and it's just such a good solution. Uh, CrowdStrike calls this their land and expand uh, strategy and clearly it is working very, very well. Okay, so now that you guys know the five points of why you should be excited about CrowdStrike's IPO, I want to know what you guys think. Are you guys excited about CrowdStrike? Would you guys consider investing? If so, why? If not, why? Go ahead and let me know down in the comments and I appreciate you guys tuning into this video. Looking forward to seeing you guys in the next one.